Hi guys, I wanted to come on and show you my science supplies um, after seeing Dr. J's and speaking with little homeschool mama. It's been on my mind to do a video on the supplies that we have in our homeschool. So basically what you're looking at, we have a chemistry set that most of these things were given to us besides the microscope. Uh, we brought that, but other than that, most things were given to us. So let me show you what we have. So first we have this chemistry set, solid liquids and gases. And behind that, oops, let's see. We have a energy set and we have this battery one. And then we also have this, on this over, this mega science lab. And it says that it includes, let's see, it includes a weather station, a cloud chart, a pair of goggles, volcano parts, measuring cups, things of that nature. And it also comes with a little um, microscope. Okay. I also have something else that was given to us is this one is called the dangerous boys the dangerous book for boys classic chemistry okay then we have this little box here with magnets and just a bunch of different wires that we would need to carpet wiring. I think this is light bulbs, a battery, things of that nature. Okay. Now I brought this. We also have a fraud that we're going to dissect soon. Let's see. And we have our dissection tools right here. I have two of those. Okay. Now, going to my microscope. I got this I got this microscope from Amazon. And I really like it. It also hooks up to our computer. Okay. Then I have a bag full of tubes with caps. We have microscope slides. Then we have the set of slides that's already prepared with the list in the inside. We have different lenses for our microscope. Back here in the back, I think these are, what does that say? Transfer, the little droplets to transfer stuff, liquids. Then I know Dr. J said that we need, it's better to have metal cups, but I have plastic cups. So I'm going to, but I do have a metal stirrer. <laughs> Okay, now, oh, I also have this Rocks and Minerals little set. Now I'm going to pull the microscope over a little more if you can see it. So this version, I guess, is the M150C. So let me show you what it looks like. Turn it around. I like it. It works great for our family. Okay, so now let me get into the books that I have. I recently brought this book. The Human Body Coloring Book. And I didn't buy it necessarily for it to be a coloring book, but it has awesome pictures on the inside. Let me open it up. where you can fill in the blanks 
of all the different parts. Like this is the spine, the spine, or you know what it is, the spinal cord. So it gives you the areas to label. Same thing here, more. So basically what I plan to do, this is the nervous system. So what I plan to do is basically copy these pages for them when we cover certain things. But it's a really nice book. So what is this? Head and Neck 4. So I think this will come in handy. Again, this is the DK, the Human Body Coloring Book, the Ultimate Atomy Study Guide. Okay. I also have, oops. I also have Birds of Michigan because we live in Michigan. So I found this with all the different types of birds. Trees of Michigan. Michigan Trees and Wildflowers. It has the same things in it. And I like it because it's small and I can just throw it in my purse or a book bag. Now we also have the Zoo Guide. And this is by Answers in Genesis. And let me show you what it has in the inside. I thought this was really cool. So right here you have a picture of a sea otter. And then over here it gives you all, well it gives you some nice facts about the sea otter. The class, the order, the family. Same thing here. So it has really nice colored pictures and information. So I'll be carrying this to the zoo with us when we go. Because a lot of times they have the little signs, but I want the kids to do a little more research. So I thought that was an awesome book. They also have, well, I also have the Aquarium Guide by the same company, Answers in Genesis. So when I open it up, it shows you this is the parrotfish. And it also gives you the classification of it. Okay. Now, I also have a book of insects for teaching insects. Okay. And then the inside of here, we have like here, it's the roach. And wait a minute, some of this. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not the roach. Okay, there we go. So, this is the roach. And it gives you the different kinds, shows you a picture of them. See. Grasshopper and Cricket. So I really like that book too. But that is the, it look like it's an Abeka flashcards. It's not a book, but they were flashcards that we put into a book. Okay, I also found these at my local library. Um, the Handy Book, the Handy Space and Answer Book, Physics and Science. These are some of the other books we have. And here are some other books we have. So, basically, I've showed you what we have right now. We're always adding new things to our science um, closet. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.